Teacher, we know that company culture this day is, these days are taking a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. uh, when candidates are applying to job, they go on online, they go on the company website, what they are doing, community involvement. So they're seeing the whole company before applying to a job. So what are, what do you tips what tips you have for uh, for companies you know in terms of creating this great company culture that will attract talent as we spoke earlier? Yeah, uh, such a great question. You know, um, a, a company's culture really is the at the backbone of who they are, mm -hmm. and uh, I really believe first of all that culture uh, is something that exists both internally and is reflected externally mm -hmm. as well, right? If you treat your employees well, if you have a great organizational culture, that's going to be reflected in how your organization treats their customers. And in fact, to me, I'd go one step away from your question for a moment to say that an employer's brand externally should really not be that uh, much different from the employer brand. Mm -hmm. They should really be highly aligned. Um, but how do you get there? Yes. Great question. Uh, I really think that uh, it's it's not simply about having some uh, great policies and, and having uh, you know, great benefits. Uh, those are becoming really table stakes. Yes. So uh, you know, a good organization uh, really understands how to, to create a high level of engagement within the workforce. But I think that starts with creating a high level of transparency and a low level of hierarchy. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you wanna know, uh, you know key ingredients uh, the ability to share information, the comfort that employees have in asking the questions that they have, really creating that culture where uh, nothing is uh, taboo or can't be uh, asked. Um, uh, you know, the informality, uh, recognizing that it's more about collaboration now. It is uh, so much about how we work together and the ability to get individuals involved mm -hmm. and then give them the room to maneuver, yes. you know. I, I think that's so important nowadays that uh, you leave employees the room to uh, make decisions and, and to be involved in their work and guide the direction of it. Um, and that uh, takes a special kind of uh, leadership. Mm -hmm. So the last ingredient that I would say that is really key is how to make sure that you instill uh, some common language and understanding in an organization. So. Uh, for me, uh, and one of the secret ingredients here, uh, has been really about understanding not only those components we just talked about, okay. but also common language and understanding how individuals uh, think and work together. Mm -hmm. So we've incorporated some concepts of neuroscience into uh, our orientation and mm -hmm. into uh, how we uh, talk with each other and, and how we treat each other so that uh, we understand what a bad day might look like and we understand uh, exactly how to have and continue to have a positive mindset in the work that we do. That's a great insight. Thank you for that, TJ. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other extra tips in terms of creating great company culture, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with TJ.